Hi, I'm Sean Moran with ACCGIS, and I'll be introducing the Tree Survey Project. Most often, GIS professionals work at their desktops using secondary data provided by a coworker, client, or website in support of their day-to-day -day work. But occasionally, we need to go into the field to collect primary data. This may involve using a drone or a mobile device configured for data collection, like this tablet or this mobile phone. Now, the workflow required to support field data collection includes four steps, planning, configuration, collection, and assimilation. Typically, you start in the office where you plan and configure the mission using a desktop computer. Next, you move to the field where you collect spatial and attribute data using a mobile device. Last, you return to the office where you assimilate your data and present your findings. For this tree survey project, You'll use a data modeler's ER diagram, ArcGIS Pro, and ArcGIS Online to plan and configure your mission. Next, you'll go in the field to perform your tree survey using ArcGIS field maps on your mobile device. Last, you'll return to the office where you'll assimilate your data into an ArcGIS Online dashboard like this one right here. All right, so there you can see my completed dashboard that includes my interactive web map that I can zoom in and zoom out on. I can click on a feature and access the attributes, including the attached image. Also have my interactive bar chart, pie chart, and indicator, all with titles. And then if I test my filter or category selector, I can switch between deciduous, evergreen, or reset it by selecting none. The project goal is to plan, configure, collect, and assimilate a tree survey using desktop GIS, mobile GIS, and an interactive web map and dashboard. You'll do this for your AOI or area of interest, and that could be a park, a neighborhood block, it could be an ACC campus, it could even be like a cemetery near your house. And you'll do it using ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Field Maps, and ArcGIS Online. Your completed project should be published as an ArcGIS Online dashboard with embedded web map and shared with ArcGIS Online Austin Community College Organization and ACC Group. There are four summary tasks for this project. One, plan the mission. Two, configure the pilot, three, collect the field data, and four, assimilate the field data into a dashboard with a web map. Let's take a look at the statement of work. On page one, you can see the project team with you listed as the GIS analyst and your professor as the project manager. You can read the project description, including the catalyst for this project, which is an urban forester in your city is looking for assistance performing tree surveys. You volunteered your GIS expertise and will configure and publish a geodatabase, collect tree locations and attributes, and publish your results in an interactive dashboard with a map. If you look on page two, you can see the duration. This project should take six to 10 hours, and your project area is a user-selected AOI or area of interest. And again, that can include a neighborhood, a campus, a park, anywhere where there's at least 25 trees for you to survey. The purpose of this project is to plan, configure, collect, and assimilate a tree survey using desktop GIS, mobile GIS, and an interactive web map and dashboard. Your audience, again, includes your client, which is the city urban forester, and your completed project should be published as an ArcGIS Online dashboard with embedded web map and shared with the ArcGIS Online Austin Community College organization and ACC group. The ArcGIS Online dashboard short URL address should be uploaded to the course website by the project due date. To complete this project, it requires internet access, an ArcGIS Online organizational account and web browser, ArcGIS Pro software, and ArcGIS Field Maps, which is a mobile application which you can install on any phone that includes a GPS. If you don't have a phone with GPS, then you can work with your instructor to access one of the field tablets that we have in the ACC GIS program. As far as data goes, the students will configure and collect all the primary data required for this project. Now, again, I've already mentioned there are four summary tasks. One, to plan the mission. Two, to configure the pilot. 
three to collect the field data, and four to assimilate the field data into a dashboard with a web map. On page three, you can read about summary task one, plan your mission. You should always plan your mission before going in the field to collect data. This is a small project and does not require a formal mission plan, but there are a number of tasks you can perform in the office that will increase your efficiency and effectiveness in the field. The first step is to create your project geo database and publish it for data collection. The urban forester overseeing this project would like every survey to include the tree location, type, size, health, any notes, and a photo. And she's teamed up with a data modeler to create the following entity relationship diagram of the physical data model. And so if you look down in figure one, you can see an ER diagram of your geo database that you're gonna be using to complete this project. And that includes the independent entity trees point feature class that's gonna be stored in a WGS 1984 coordinate system along with the system created fields, including an object ID and the shape geometry. And then you're gonna add some additional fields as well, including a type short integer field, a size text field, a health short integer field, and a notes text field. There'll be some additional fields that you're gonna add using the system geoprocessing tools that will allow you, for example, to keep track of who's editing it, to add a global ID, and to add attachments to your project. Last, we're gonna restrict the values in some of your fields using domains created at the geodatabase level. And that includes a type short integer coded value domain that will restrict the values of the type field to one deciduous and two evergreen. A sized text coded value domain that will restrict the values of the size field to S small, M medium, or L large, and a health short integer range domain field that will restrict the health field to a minimum value of one and a maximum value of 10. 